What is up people, Dunny here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at, and I don't say this lightly, my new favorite on-camera microphone, the Rode VideoMic Go 2. But here's the thing, this mic is good for so much more than just being an on-camera mic. You can connect it directly to your phone or your computer for podcast, video conferencing. You can even plug in your headphones and use it as an audio interface. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the features and functions of this mic. We're gonna compare it to a couple other microphones from both Rode and Deity. We're gonna do some sound tests in three different practical situations. And finally, we're going to talk about who this microphone is for, so secure the cup and let's get into it. First things first, here's what comes in the box when you buy this microphone. We have the microphone itself, a 3.5 millimeter cable, the foam windscreen, and the hot shoe shock mount with the thread on the bottom. There are some optional accessories that you can get and we'll talk about a couple of them a bit later. Links for everything will be down in the description if you want to check them out. The microphone is a super cardioid pattern, which means it's very directional and mostly picks up just whatever it's pointing at. If you're familiar with a lot of Rode's newer microphones, like the VideoMic NTG and NTG5, you'll recognize a similar acoustic technique that they've used with the body of the mic, and from what I can tell, the materials are basically the same. The big differences that we see between this $100 microphone and the $250 VideoMic NTG is that the VideoMic Go 2 has no bells and whistles. No power button, no high pass filter, no gain knob, no pad, no boost, no dual channel split, nothing. Just plug it in and go. Go to. Now, if you had asked me a few years ago when the VideoMic NTG came out, I would have said that I wanted all those controls. I need to have all the power to be able to make an infinite amount of decisions. As I get older and wiser, I've realized that simplicity can be a blessing sometimes and not just a curse. Sometimes I bump that gain knob and it changes without me knowing, or I forget that I had a specific setting on and I don't turn it off before the next shoot. One of the biggest annoyances when it comes to the fancier on-camera microphones is the battery. But the video might go to doesn't have one. So you literally never have to think about it. I don't even want to talk about my experiences with dead microphone batteries because it's just, it's too painful. All that being said, there are some hidden features that you might not notice right away. For example, if it has no battery, why is there a USB-C port? If you've got the right cables, you can actually connect this microphone to your computer and use it as a USB microphone for your podcast or your video conferencing. And when connected to the Rode Central or Rode Connect app, guess what? There's those bells and whistles that we thought we were missing. We've got a pad to make it quieter if it's too loud, input volume control, high pass filter to get rid of the bass rumbles from your loud neighbors, a high frequency boost if you're using a windscreen and headphone volume because you can now plug in your headphones into the 3.5 millimeter output and hear not only the microphone with no latency, but also whatever's going on on your computer. And if you connect this to your phone because you want to sound great while you FaceTime your grandma or if you need to do a quick ASMR session in Starbucks, you can have all those same controls using the Rode Central mobile app. Now, a quick disclaimer on these extra controls, they don't stick with the microphone when you're using it on camera. It's only when it has the help of a computer or smartphone that you get that extra stuff. Okay, so it's super versatile, fun hidden features, but one of the best things about this microphone is the size and weight of it. It's about 33% shorter than the VideoMic NTG, and it's about 25% percent shorter than the Deity D3. And even if we throw on the WS12 fuzzy windshield and compare to the super tiny Rode Video Micro, the Video Mic Go 2 isn't that much bigger practically. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's only $100. So here's the thing. Typically having no battery and being a tiny microphone means that you're making some sacrifices in the sound quality. So I brought out a bunch of mics to compare to the Video Mic Go 2 so we can see how it does. Here's what we're working with and why I chose. We've got the Deity V Mic D3. This mic is $60 with no crazy bells and whistles, but it does have a single AAA battery, so that could give it an advantage. We've got the Rode VideoMic NTG. This mic is $250 and it's the bigger, fancier version with all the bells, whistles, and a built-in battery, so I wanted to see if the sound was similar. Then we have the Deity V Mic D4 Mini. It's super tiny, no battery, $50, easy to use, and it sounds decent enough, and it's also got a bonus second input. And finally, we've got the classic Rode Video Micro, which is a $55 no battery microphone with no frills, tiny little mic that sounds 
Okay, so my big question is, is this mic going to sound more like the fancy NTG, more like the video micro, or somewhere in between? The first test I did was in my reasonably sound-treated studio, with the microphones boomed similar to how I normally have them for a video, pointed down just past my mouth. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everybody sing. We're gonna bring the flavor, show you how. I've got a question for you, better answer now. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everybody sing. We're gonna bring the flavor, show you how. I've got a question for you, better answer now. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everybody sing. We're gonna bring the flavor, show you how. I've got a question for you, better answer now. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everybody sing. We're gonna bring the flavor, show you how. I've got a question for you, better answer now. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everybody sing. We're gonna bring the flavor, show you how. I've got a question for you, better answer now. After each of these recordings, I left a few seconds of silence at the end so we can hear if there's any significant noise difference between them. The fans from the lights and the noise of the room itself should be constant, so any difference should just be the noise of the microphone. Next, I went outside and stood about nine feet from the mics to see how they would do at longer distances. All the mics had some kind of furry windshield on them for this test because that's a practical way I would actually use them outside. Now throw your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. If you want to party, let me hear you yell because we've got it going on again. Now throw your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. If you want to party, let me hear you yell, because we've got it going on again. Now throw your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. If you want to party, let me hear you yell, because we've got it going on again. Now throw your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. If you want to party, let me hear you yell, because we've got it going on again. Now throw your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. If you want to party, let me hear you yell, because we've got it going on again. And finally, I did a vlogging test with the microphone on the camera at an arm's length away. Everybody, rock your body. Everybody, rock your body right. Backstreet's back, all right? Everybody, rock your body. Everybody, rock your body right. Backstreet's back, all right? Everybody, rock your body. Everybody, rock your body right. Backstreet's back, all right? Everybody, rock your body. Everybody, rock your body right. Backstreet's back, all right? Everybody, rock your body. Everybody, rock your body right. Backstreet's back, all right? After reviewing the samples, here's what I'm finding. The new Video Mic Go 2 sounds very similar to the $250 NTG. They both have a similar nice rounded sound. That being said, the NTG goes much louder. I only had it at 6 on the gain knob to make it match the volume of the Go 2, and it goes up to 15. The Go 2 was still the second loudest mic in the bunch. I didn't have to crank up the camera volume to get good levels at all, so I'm really happy with that. To me, the Day D D3 was close in sound quality but not quite as nice as the Go 2 or the NTG. It almost seems like the D3 has some kind of high pass filter that gets rid of a lot of the nice low end. And then, as I suspected with both the Deity VMic D4 Mini and the classic Rode Video Micro, they both sounded okay. Not great, but good enough. I was super happy that the Video Mic Go 2 sounded basically as good as the NTG because I know that a $250 mic is out of the range of a lot of people who are just starting out. So to be able to get basically that same sound in a smaller package for $100, this microphone is awesome value and much more accessible. So with that said, who do I think this microphone is for? The answer is basically everyone. It's great for online video creators and YouTubers because it's got no batteries, it sounds great, it's tiny, it doesn't take up much room on your camera or in your bag. It's great for people starting podcasts because you can plug it in straight via USB, you get a bunch of extra control and the headphone out. And it's great for anyone who's doing a lot of video conferencing, either from your phone or from your computer. Again, plug and play and the headphone out gives you a complete audio system in a tiny little package. With 
With all that said, I do highly recommend getting the WS12 furry windshield if you film outside at all. If you're just inside or using it for podcasts or voiceovers, you can probably get away with just the included foam windshield. And again, if you're gonna be using it with a computer or phone, make sure to get the proper cables so that you can do so. There's definitely some info on that on the Rode website and links to everything in the description. But as always, I wanna know what you think. Which was your favorite microphone out of all the tests that you heard here? Let me know down in the comments and on your way down there, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.